Hi everyone, it's Leslie Yeoman from Hungry Happy Crafts and I've got a happy care birthday card for you today. And this card was inspired by some Simon Says stamp, um, stamps and also some Mama Elephant and Lawn Fawn goodies that I had in my stash. So stick with me and uh, let's begin. So for this card I planned it out beforehand and laid out some of my dies and stamps so I could get an idea of what I wanted to do. And I'm working today on some Ranger watercolour cardstock and I'm going to be using my Distress inks to do a little bit of watercolouring. So I'm using this rough side of the paper just so that when I get to colouring it has a little bit of tooth and it gives this lovely watercolour effect. First of all I'm stamping some of the images onto the background and I'm using some Versamark ink, the clear sticky ink for embossing and I've embossed using some black embossing powder. Now I'm actually going to do a little bit of masking here because I want the cloud and rainbow to be kind of tucked behind this palace in the clouds here. So I've masked it off using some sticky post-it paper and then inked up the stamp, stamped it, removed the mask and then sprinkled my embossing powder on top. Now I have heat set this with my embossing tool but before I move on to any other stamping I want to lay out the rest of my card. So I'm adding a stitched cloud border at the bottom from Mama Elephant that's from the stitch trio die, landscape trio die. And then this little guy here is from Simon Says Stamps. But I don't want to have his nose or his eyes because I'm actually going to be using a different stamp to create a nose and eyes to make him look more like a Care Bear. I very carefully added some of that Versamark ink, but you can see here that I've actually I've caught the top of his nose. But that's okay because I'm going to use a dry paintbrush to brush away any of those little embossing powder crystals that I don't want to have there. Next I'm going to fill in the line that I've missed using this embossing pen and um, this pen actually has a blue tinge to it so it's really easy to see where you've written. So now here's my little guy, I'll emboss him and clean off my stamp. I'm going to be using a little love heart, this is from the W plus 9 little bit stamp set for his nose. And I'm also going to be using this stamp set from Lawn Fawn, Critters of the Sea, because the octopus has these, um, these little cheerful eyes and I thought it would work perfect for this bear. But first of all, I want to cut them out and continue on with some inking uh, because I can stamp the eyes and things while the ink is drying. So I've cut out my bear, leaving a little bit of a white border. And I'm actually going to cut out another one of these stitched cloud um, borders here because I think I might want a little bit of extra cloud along this right hand side and I'm positioning my bear where I want him to be. Now that I know where my bear is going to be I'm going to add a few more stamped images to the background of my card. So I'm laying these out and I'm going to repeat my process of embossing. First of all prepping the surface with the embossing powder tool to get rid of any moisture or any static that's on the cardstock stamping the image with my Versamark ink, the clear sticky ink for embossing, sprinkling it with some black embossing powder, shaking off the excess, brushing away any stray crystals that I don't want to have there using a dry paintbrush. Then I'll heat it with my heat tool. So now I have all my background stamped images. They're all complete. And I'm actually going to move over to my Care Bear now. And each of the Care Bears had a little design in the middle of its belly. And I realized that there is one that has a moon and a star. And it pretty much matched the stamp that came in the Mama Elephant Unicorn and Rainbow stamp set. So I've stamped and embossed the little moon first of all. And there is actually a star on a string in the stamp set. But it's a little bit too long. So I'm masking off the top of the the moon there so that I can stamp the star exactly where I want it to be and not get any ink in places that I don't want any ink to be. So here we have my little bear with his cute belly 
and he's going to go right about here. And then my clouds will go along the bottom here. So I'm just going to figure out exactly where I want that second cloud to be and I'll trim off the edge so I can get rid of the bits that I don't need. So I'm going to add some colour to the background of my card and to do that I'm going to use my distress inks but I want to cover up all the stamped images that I have already stamped on there. So I've created a few more masks to cover these and now I can add my ink. I'm using Distress Ink today like I mentioned and I'm using the Squeezed Lemonade which is the yellow colour and Sponge Sugar at the bottom which is the light pink colour. I'm keeping the yellow to the top and I'm using a really light hand and normally I would go in a circular motion but it's kind of difficult with those masks I don't want them to peel up so I'm very lightly pouncing the mini distress tool up and down. Next I'm going to spray it with some plain water using the distress sprayer and I'll lift off the moisture using a paper towel. I'm just going to add a little bit more over to the left hand side because it um, I kind of missed that section and I'll once again lift off the moisture. Now some of my masks did get wet so I'm very carefully peeling them up. I don't want any of the um, them to stick or any of the um, adhesive to get a bit icky. So I'm lifting them up and the behind the mask is has been uh, left nice and bright white. Now let's give this little guy some eyes. And I use the embossing pen to do the eyes on the stamp and then I'm using this love heart from the W plus 9 little bits stamp set for the nose. So here is my Care Bear and I'm ready to colour him in and the Bedtime Bear is a blue colour. So I'm using my Distress Inks also to colour in the bear and I will also use them to colour in the rest of the images on the background. I've got a piece of plastic here with a piece of paper inside it and I have smooshed my Distress Ink on top of the plastic and I'm using a water brush to pick up some of that ink and colour in the image. The Distress Ink that I've used for this is tumbled glass and broken china and a little tiny bit of salty ocean in the moon to give it that darker blue colour. For the rest of the images, I've used some of the other pastel tones of Distress Ink. Once again, my squeezed lemonade and spun sugar. And I also added a little wilted violet and cracked pistachio to get some purples and teal, minty teal colours on there too. I didn't want my clouds to be too white, so I added a little bit of blue to that as well. Next step was to give my whole project a nice stitched border. So I run that through the cuddle bug using the Lawn Fawn Larged Stitch Rectangles dies. And it was at this point that I decided I wanted to make it into a shaker card. So I used the largest die from the Lawn Fawn Small Stitch Rectangles die to cut out a frame in my project. And I did it on both the clouds and the background as well. And I'm going to create a grating for my card that says Happy Care Bear Day. I've used my Misty to stamp a greeting, a test greeting onto a little piece of acetate. And this allows me to move the acetate around and figure out exactly where I want to stamp the image. This is a really useful tip if you can never really decide on where you want to put your greeting. You can stamp it, stamp it onto a piece of acetate and figure it out from there. So I am actually stamping this onto some acetate. Now I've actually made sure beforehand that this acetate is not going to melt when I heat it because if you um, if you have a certain type of acetate it will melt when you put the heat gun to it. So please be careful if you're going to try that. So I've positioned my acetate exactly where I want it to go and then I'm laying the die over the top 
So when I run that through the Kappa bug, it will the grading will be in exactly the place where I want it to be. So let's stick this down now with some double-sided sticky tape on the back of my frame. And I need to raise up the outside frame. So I'm going to put my two frames together so that I can actually run this double frame die through my cuddle bug with some craft foam. This is some craft foam that I have put some stick it on both sides and the stick it is an adhesive so this means now that I have my foam frame it will have adhesive on the top and the bottom and there's some release paper on there as well. So I've done the same to the clouds, so I can raise the clouds up too. And now I'm sticking the frame onto a, a card blank, a standard A2 card blank. I can pop the inside inside the frame and then the clouds right in the inside too. And I'll put my little bear on top. So I've got glue on his feet and a little bit of foam tape behind his head and I'll use just another powder tool to get rid of any stray adhesive that's lying around. Next up adding my shaker bits these are little stars and all I need to do now is add the top of the card. So once I have my frame and the top panel in place the shaker card is complete. So thanks for watching the video today. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hop on over to Hungry Heffy Crafts for more of my projects. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye!